are prescribed by the school administration, which is indeed a waste of time. The waste of 45 minutes, which could be indeed utilized for the other works. So our house believes that school uniforms should be banished. Uh, untidy clothes, or let's say uh, an untidy school uniform, is far more not better than a uh, casual dress. So we can use the casual dress as an alternative for the use of time wisely. The use of 45 minutes can be either done for focusing on our studies or maybe for any other works. So school uniforms should be formally be banned. To bring formality in, school uniform is not only the work of school dresses or let's say the casual dresses. The school uniformity can also be brought through the casual dresses which can be of a particular dress code. Our house believes that utilization of money to bring to brought the dresses can be done in the other sectors. So our house also believes that improper dress use is very often. So the students which use which use the improper dress code could be suggested, could be worn, or could be taken into counseling. And even though they can be brought into line for their good works. So, just no students want their reputation to go down. So our, our house also believes that the students with improper dress code could be brought to line through counseling very easily. Now, the casual dresses can also show the right to our freedom as the right the students want to make them stylish or look them the way they wanted. In many of the states, students, especially girls including, are not given the right to wear skirt or shirt. This is due to their conservation, conservative thinking. But, but students like girls or any other can easily maintain their homeworks or their dress codes if, if the students are let to wear the, any casual dress they want. Quality life, we believe, not only comes through the dress code but also through the education. So uniformity in casual dress can be also maintained in the school. The opposition team also talked about the uniformity of school uniform. How can the uniformity just be brought by the school uniforms? The casual dress can also be uniform if the students are given a particular type of dress code. Do a torn pant or an unpolished shoe bring uniformity in, uh, in school uniforms? It's not very easy to do so. But in casual dresses, we could easily do so if we maintain the dress code of any particular student. The opposition team also talked about the reduction of bus fare. It's not that if we wear school uniform, then only our bus fare can be reduced. If we have the carrying, if we have the habit of carrying bus, uh, sorry, if we have the habit of carrying identity card, the bus fare can also get reduced, not only by the use of school uniform. So our house believes that management of school uniforms is really necessary to maintain the education level of our students. Yes. What about if casual dress is also in poor condition? Sorry? What about if casual dress is also in a poor condition? Could anyone please explain the question? The House of Proposition has been telling that the school uniform becomes untidy, dirty, and uh, this can create problems in personal need of students. And how can you believe that casual dress won't be dirty, untidy like a school uniform? Because casual dress can be frequently changed. If a school makes a casual dress in the code of just black color, then students can buy a variety of black colors dresses in the proper length as, as the school administration is suggested. So we believe that uniformity of dress can be brought to the dress code. Yeah. So moving forward, our house represents that we should banish the school uniform because it brings a quality life to all of us. and. And the economic condition of our country can also be grown as the dress code, as the money invested in dress code can be utilized in the other sectors. Normally, we see that schools have three or four, uh, let's say maximum three school dresses, which can be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday. This to buy the three clothes, it may maximally take five thousand rupees or more, maybe more than that. So, uh, our house believes that school uniform, the management of school uniform, is really necessary to maintain the economic level as well as the utilization of our time. Thank you. Uh, please, while asking the POIs, make your POI short up to 15 seconds and try to make it like to the point. Don't make it vague and like generalize. According to the uh, K2S, the story of school, school uniform increased academic performance, causing students to focus more on stories. Behaviors issues can be reduced because of school uniform.
Prefer, uh, first speaker of proposition said that wearing uniforms will take, uh, will take 10 minutes to ready. But do you think school days will take more, than, more time? It's not. We have the different uh, dress codes in our school. The proposition said that if we, if our mother washed our clothes, what will it, what will it do? But they forget that there are different school uniforms which can be used on that day. As you once, uh, as you once dress and since a long period of, you have been talking uh, untidy, dirty school uniform. But do you think? that our, our dress also becomes dirty. So you should be known about the school uniforms and as told by our house of opposition. Our opposition has been saying that this is also maintained uh, in uniformities. We are also agreed. But we finally more we can finally more uniformity with school uniforms as they of same design. Now two problems I see with that argument. One, you guys could not establish why creativity is absolutely necessary for children to grow and everything. One. Second problem is you do not justify to me why creativity is required in schools. Also in dresses. Why cannot creativity can be explored in other forms. That were like the major flaws in your argument. Now other, another problem I see with your side was you guys were repeated. That is all three of your speakers had similar thing to say. When one speaker say one thing, you guys do not need to, you know, pretty much add on to it. Why? Because you guys already have said whatever you have, you had to say. Now, the other speakers need to add value to your case. That is, you guys need to bring other ideas, other important ideas. And that is one of the major problems that the side proposition has. However, side opposition pretty much dealt with every argument you, you built. Side opposition for me, refutation wise, were excellent. But where did the side opposition lack? The side opposition had, you know, idea about what to speak and how to speak, I think. But the major problem with side opposition were they were not clear about their substantive. That is, you guys refuted well. Yes, refutation is a very important part of debates. But if you guys, if the side proposition had pretty much flipped your refutations to yourself, it was very, very, it would have been very, very clear victory for them. But because they did not do it, you guys, uh, if you, you guys, uh, had brought arguments you guys could have been you know more strong in your arguments however because you guys did not do it i pretty much penalized you for those issues but even with penalization there were certain ideas i got from your speech that is you stand for equality and i took it as your argument and your argument were pretty much justified for me and all three speakers added you know different values to this debate which was lacking from the side opposition so Pretty much the end goal you guys wanted to achieve was uniformity and equality. They wanted to achieve equality. From your side, you were promoting equality from uniformity in students through uniforms. You guys say equality can be you know, established by outside uniforms, but you do not show us how that happens. Versus them, they clearly show us how you know, uniformity works and how uniformity is equality. You make analysis of you know, rich kids and poor kids and things as such. So that was the clear reason to why the side opposition had an upper hand on the side proposition. However, uh, I think all six speakers are good speakers. You, know, you guys have like, good potential to speak. But the problem is you, know, you guys could not pretty much engage in the major issues in this debate. So I think uh, best of luck for next time. It was a very good debate to watch. And I want to say that we should not ban school uniforms. Banning school uniform means banning the discipline and our academic results of our student. Thank you. Our house agrees with the argument that has been presented by the opposition team about the ban company, that is, buying of cigarette in our casual dress and the buying of cigarette in our school dress. Yes, we agree. According to our house, we believe that we have right to freedom, as we have already been discussing about that. Right to freedom includes all kinds of rights that we ensure. If we have our right not only includes about what we want, it all includes about what we even want to wear. We have been talking about utilize we have been talking about the uniformity previously also we our house beliefs uniformity doesn't come with our dresses, it comes with our proper mindset, proper proper thinking, done not about what dresses we wear. If we have similar kind of dress, then can anybody ensure that we have unity? 
today we all have same dresses then if a person like suppose uh, let's take an example if we have same dresses right then if i and you do not have proper mindset we do not have similar kind of thoughts then how does there come unity that's our house believes that when we have proper mindset proper thinking if we have similar kind of thinking that only there's unity not that if we have similar dress we have uniformity also we have been talking about colors well on shoes and well iron dress does it bring unity no that's just a ridiculous point why let me let our house explain it if we have similar colors yeah there will be matching of dresses and if he feels that there is kind of uniformity but uniformity continues in our mind not in our dresses even if even if you manage to buy many clothes many pairs of clothes then if they go shorter day after some period then what about that even if even if we are not able to banish school uniform then then we will be frequently frequently uh, wasting our 45 minutes as I, as our proposition to, uh, proposition house has been talking over here even if we are not able to banish our school uniform the culture of buying expensive clothes increases summarizing all our debates today our proposition side uh, have uh, clearly mentioned why we should banish our school uniform uh, some topics were about uniformity proper utilization of time unity and many more we don't even uh, talked about identity 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 comes with what we are not with what we have forced to be so if if we have a proper uh, identity of what we are then uh, dresses doesn't matters we support that dresses can't change the manners of a student dresses can't change the mindset of a student dresses cannot change the habits of students but what we can change is we can change our mind about school uniform school uniform doesn't have any power it only feels us that we are in a school and we are being forced to use our dress not that we are we are using that dress for our sake that is not our uh, wish to wear that dress we are forced and that doesn't come under our constitutional right our right proclaims that we have right to freedom even we have child rights china includes all the rights that have, that a child can afford that a child can bear that is we have right to wear what we like we have right to wear what yeah we have right to think what we uh, think we have right to say what we think we have right to speak what we want and even we have right to wear what we like yeah. it is not that that anybody comes and force us and make us feel that we need to wear that conclusively we think that our proposition side should win because we have clearly mentioned our all policies all kinds of all kinds of uh, policies and uh, pol policies our arguments have been clearly identified so our proposition side should win thank you and uh, one more thing uh, you claim yourself as proposition side or the opposition side not as the house houses as a whole you can't say i'm the from opposition house you say i'm from opposition side you may go outside i'll like take two or three minutes english language is important for us by it is an international language it is useful while uh, doing job interview and uh, as i said before it is also important to do a deal with a foreigner and uh, to do to do a deal with foreigner and um, and also okay. yes. now personally what can a person practice to make his or her English language good so what habits can a person follow cultivate to make his or her English good or he or she can become very fluent in English Yes, some of those. Taking an English class. Taking an English class. Taking an English class, reading novels, English novels. Yes, I. Communicating yes. with. Thank you so much, Sanjan. But I want to answer from Karuna. So, yeah, the question is: question is so, what can you do to improve your English language? By reading English stories. 
Stones Group by uh, practicing with our friends. Yes, thank you, Bona. Love is today. Uh, staying with a uh, uh, staying uh, or learning from an educated person who knows in this way. In this way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, Miss Uh, question. Question is: uh, What can you do yourself to improve English language? Uh, to improve our English language, uh, we can, um, like uh, my friend told, we can uh, get uh, some ideas from well-educated people, and uh, we can. Uh, although, if we know uh, some English language, we can try to communicate with tourists. And as government have provided many platforms like boarding school, uh, there there is training of English language. So from the platform provided by government, we can uh, take the help of them and improve our English language. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I speak uh, English uh, sometimes. So school. okay. So what activities are you know, that uh, given or provided in your school or in your classroom by your teachers? Uh, so that you can uh, improve your English. Sorry, sorry, I don't understand. The question is that what do you do, what activities do you do that relate to English so that the students can be very good in English? Mm. Yes, I want to answer from both English. Yes. So the, the question is that when you go to school, so what do your teachers do to make your English excellent? Uh, Teachers are the school awfully organize the speech uh, competition or quiz competition in which we have to speak English and they also awfully uh, take uh, our test on the English language to know how good we are in the language. Thank you so much. So Mansi, you are from class 5. So I won't answer the same question from your class. So what do we do? Yes, please. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, please do. Uh, teacher may cause to read some um, paragraphs of English book. See uh, many focus in our grammar so that we can improve our English language. And um, also see uh, see the student, uh, see organize a uh, uh, speech competition. Uh, she may cause to write an essay. And as our school has done, uh, panel discussion on importance of English language. Uh, so, like this. Thank you, thank you, Dushri. I want to uh, answer from Sumitra. Okay, the question is there. So, do you really think that English language is important? Yes, I really think that English language is important for us. And uh, in many college and school, they learn English language. Okay, if you think that English language is important, then uh, what solutions uh, do you want to give to people so that they also get ideas to learn English? So how can they learn English? Or how can we learn English? Yes, please. Does anybody have answer on this question, please? The question is there, you think, you agree that English language is important. Okay, in modern time, it means now you want to convey this message to other people that they must learn English. So, what suggestion you want to give to people so that they can start learning this? Uh, yes, sir. Please, please. By grabbing the opportunities to learn English, or by joining the government school. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do you have any suggestions? We can motivate uh, people uh, to speak English language by giving them training, uh, explaining them the importance of English language. And uh, uh, so like that. Yes, thank you so much. Actually, we all panelists. Yes, yes, please. Sir, my co my answer is that faith is very big. Uh, faith is very big issues. In, faith is very big thing in, in our daily life. For example, Abraham Lincoln have a faith that he will one he, one day he will change America. So first, we have to keep a faith of suggesting people that we can we can suggest them. To, we can suggest or motivate them to learn English so that uh, we can give them trainings, we can, we can uh, use an uh, uh, institution of uh, giving them uh, English language training. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So do you get some ideas that you can say to people that English language is important, that we have to learn, we have to speak English like that?
Tu ai de la Tu ai Yes, please. I know that we should always speak English in, in our schools. In our schools, uh, we, can, we can also practice by reading, uh, by, by reading English books, by reading novels, etc. Thank you. So, no, finally, yes, please. No, no. Today, today, I have learned that communicating with others is a very big deal with others. Because while communicating, we can know many things and we can what is our problem? We can solve it then. So, so is there anyone? So we can review the today's uh, panel discussion, this program. You understand my question? The question is very simple. It's like uh, in this 30 minutes program. So what do you learn? Thank you so much. Thank you so much.